guess what? It's lunchtime. Well, I'm hungry, so that's a perfect start. What have you got for me, mate? Well, we got a kingy. As you saw, we've been catching a few kingfish in this series. Now, as you requested, it's been skinned, boned, gutted, the whole lot. So they're beautiful little dice pieces for you, as you want it. Mm -hmm. Or what are we doing? Actually, well, what are we making with it? I've got a little recipe that my brother Michael has given me. Ah. He's made it to absolute perfection, so I'm going to give it a crack myself. We've got beautiful fresh fish. I'll show you, we've got some parsley, we've got some chopped red onion, got some garlic, always got to have the garlic, Al. Oh yeah. And uh, I've got a little thing, a little special that my brother's given me, blue vein cheese, which I'm going to put in the end. And of course, some prawns, because I just want to add a little bit of texture there and yep. some flavour as well, and your beautiful kingfish that we've caught together. Remember you said it was your fish and it happened to be mine? I'll take Theo's fish. Look at the fish I've just caught. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go help Shane. I don't remember anything about oh, that. Well, that's for right. sure that we must Let's be someone cooking. else. All right, we've got the pan going, a little bit of olive oil. Now what I've done, I've actually pre-cooked the pasta somewhere else because when we pair this uh, to add into the pasta, the pasta needs to be three-quarter cooked because this doesn't take very long at all. So what we'll do, once we get that all hot, we start adding our garlic. And it's oh, all fresh, isn't it? Love that's, that uh, one sizzle, thing mate. Yeah. You just love that Beautiful. sizzle. Can you smell that garlic all just mm. coming right through there? Now with a lot of your recipes and, and with your brother, since you've stolen it off him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's lent it to He's me. lent it to you. Okay, he probably doesn't actually know that, but he has lent it to us. Is that there's no set amounts, is it? Like, you no. know, you just added a bit more olive oil because it needed a bit more, isn't it? Well, that's right. I mean, I just see how it's going. I listen to the sizzle. It's all about texture. It's all about smell. It's all about sound, really. Never go anywhere without my cracked pepper. Cracked pepper and, and garlic, right? They're the two priorities. Rock salt. It's got to be sea salt or rock salt. I think they're the same thing. I was going to say, what is this actual <laughs> no, difference I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the prawns. See, they're already starting to change colour, but I'll leave them on that side first. They cook them through, like a steak almost. Yeah. Now they're banana prawns, and you were saying before when we went and got them, you had to get Australian. Australian. Don't buy that stuff from overseas. No. I mean, look, it's up to the individual, but honestly, I want stuff that I know has come from our oceans. Stuff that's come from overseas, well... Who knows where it's come from? Just with anything, Australian. That's what I always use. They're ready to go. My little kingfish friend, up you come. All right, now that, obviously that's a beautiful fillet. Have a look at that, all deboned, nice and fresh. Caught just recently, well I think it was yesterday, wasn't it, or this morning? Um, I've been catching that many kings, I can't, can't keep remember. count. All right, nice handful. Again, work out how many people you got for dinner or lunch or whatever it is that you're doing. A bit more olive oil there. Oh, and there's your sizzle. Listen to that sizzle. Now we've got the parsley, we've got the red onion, we've got the garlic all going off. All right, Al, now for my brother's little specialty, blue vein cheese. Ah. Put that in like that. Bro, I sure hope this turns out all right, mate, because there's a lot riding on this. Yeah, Michael, you're in trouble, but I'm pretty sure he's right at the moment, I've got to say. Oh, I can smell that already. Add my prawns in. My wine, about a cup. Is that a cup? Yeah, that's close enough. We're that goes back to what you were saying before, wasn't it? You just measure things to, to the day almost, isn't it? You know, well, that's right. That looks right, done. We've got the passes and the garlics and everything and the prawns and the kingfish and it's just all coming together. It's just fantastic. There we go. Do I come around this side and... All right, move that aside, put, put that, that on, on there. there. That looks sensational. Does it smell right? I always say if it looks good and it smells good, I reckon we're three quarter of the way there. I reckon you're hundred percent the way there. <laughs> Let's serve it up. I oh, see so you pretty much do it bang, it doesn't stay in there for long nope. at all. You pretty much nope. put it in and- This is ready to rock and roll. Kingfish. Gotta do it the Italian way, mate. Twirl it right around. Oh yeah, that is oh. sensational. I think we better go.